as we just get underway in the second quarter. And I'm telling you, you talk about problems for the Lady Stars. If Lebanon starts hitting from three-point land, that'll wipe out that double team inside. And Eli's liable to have a career night. Here's Kaysen for three left wing, and she gets it to go. So just like that, Siegel answers back, and it's 18-7. Full court pressure this time. Eli beats it across on the left wing now, has it stripped away, and they'll have a jump ball, and it'll go back to Siegel. And if there's one area that gives the Blue Devil its problems, it's definitely that 2-2-1 two, two, full court pressure where they trap and pinch you on the wings. And the only time they have problems with it is when they try to dribble through double and triple teams. And it just doesn't work. That's not how you defeat the press. Oh, and out front, Jennings whistled for a foul, but good quick defense that time. I thought maybe she might have got away with the steal. But unfortunately, Sarah Donkin out here at the timeline draws the foul. So a 7 0 1 to go. That's just a third team foul on Lebanon Siegel already with four. Doesn't Eight. that feel good to say? Just the third team foul? Just the third. And especially in the second quarter. Yeah. Sometimes I say that with two minutes gone. <laughs> Kaysen out high, goes to Burns, looks across for Connell. Jennings gets the steal. Here comes Jennings in the backcourt and can't control it. Hudson has it, though. Jump ball. This one will go to Lebanon. And Jennings might be shaking up. She took a hard fall right there at the jump circle, but she's tough. She'll get up and shake it off. But, man, talk about in your shorts defense. These girls are getting after it tonight. 18-7, to turnover 7 for Siegel, 5 for Lebanon. Here's Hudson on the right wing. Skip pass out front to Coggins. Fakes the three. Back to Hudson. She'll take it inside to Jennings. Wide Great open pass. for 14. Mm. But couldn't get to convert. And Kaysen right there for the rebound. The long one on the baseline. Here comes Shanice Kaysen to the basket. Her running lap is no good. And look about the, look at the glass work down there as Connell and Peyton duke it out down there on the boards. And it looks like they're going to call Brianna Peyton for the reach-in foul. But, man, living in all over the boards here tonight. Peyton picks up her second foul of the game. Here comes Lamberson back in the ball game. Peyton to the bench. Your five on the floor, Iceland, Eli, Nikki Hudson, Kenzie Lamberson, Marissa Jennings, and Shea Coggins. Out how they go to Connell. Jennings all over her. Team fouls now even at four piece. And Connell with the up and under move, no good. And Nikki Hudson, once again, the guards for Lebanon are hitting the glass and draws a foul on Amy Burns, and that's five on single. And here comes that full court 2 2 1 again. Hudson inbounds to Eli. Burns encased in the backcourt for the front part of that 2 2 1. Now Hudson up ahead to Eli. She'll get it across the Ooh. line. Bullet pass in the middle to Jennings, but too tough. And taken away by Naish. Here comes Kaysen into the front court. She'll think about the three. She'll kick it right side to Dawkins for three. That one way off the mark. And there's Hudson again, boxing out on Burns. Up ahead, they've got Eli. She'll take it up and under and good. And folks, you've got to get back with Iceland Eli. She runs the court extremely well for a post player. 20 to 7. Blue Devil ends by 13. A near steal by Hudson. Burns pulls up from 14 and drains it. So Amy Burns with the big two. And Siegel answers right back to keep it at 11. Five and a half to go before halftime. 20 to nine. The Blue Devil wins by 11. Here's Eli. Skip pass across to Hudson. She'll get it across the line. Double team comes. Tries to throw that to Coggins. It's deflected, but Coggins picks it up. Tries to dribble across and picked her pocket. And this should be easy for Kaysen. And it is. Timeout, Lebanon will take it with them. 5.08 to go before half. 11 and 20. Single 11 is split up a basketball on FM 989 AM 1490. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Final spot. Take some help for White County, but it can be done. Here's Eli. Across to Hudson. 5.02 and counting. Blue Devil is by nine. Hudson across the middle. Right wing to Eli. She'll take it baseline. Double team skip pass out high to Stafford back into the ball game. Back in the corner to Eli. Back out front to Hudson. Well, and they had Coggins on a wing for the three. Now they get it to Lamberson. She'll go baseline to Eli. Now they find Coggins, top of the key. She'll take it in the lane or running 10-footer. No good. Stafford on the board. Chapman over the back. No call. And now they're going to call an elbow in the back court on Kelsey Naish. That's two on Naish. That's her foul, two of Siegel's starters with two fouls already. Two more with one. So Lebanon doing a good job 
of drawing some fouls. Inbounds to Hudson for three, right wing. Oh, no good. I thought she might get to friendly bounce. So with 4.30 to go, team fouls, Levin and four, Siegel six, but Siegel with the ball, 4.25 and counting down by nine. Here's Kaysen left side to Duncan. Duncan guarded by Hudson, and Hudson is just an absolute panther on defense. Here comes Kaysen down the lane. Her scoop shot's no good, but she'll draw the foul, and we'll have to see. There's about three they could have called that one on. Going to tag Shay Coggins, her first. So one on Coggins, five on Lebanon, but at the line to shoot a pair of Sinise Kaysen. 20 to 11, Lebanon leads. 4-14 before the half. Kaysen with a pair, first one up and good. Six points now in the ball game for Kaysen. Last time we played on Kaysen was four of seven from the free throw line. So a pretty good free throw shooter. Kaysen second toss up and good. So with 4-13 to go. The score goes back down to 20 to 13. Here's Eli, cross to Hudson, skip pass up ahead to Lamberson. She's bumped from behind, and they're going to have to call the foul on that as Sarah Donkin gave a shove as Lamberson went to receive that pass. And when you go to the floor and lose control of the ball, you got to call the foul. And the bonus for Lebanon, so Kizzy Lamerson to the line to shoot to one and one. So could be a big happenstance right there as Lebanon, depending on what night you look at them, they're fairly proficient from the free throw line. Lamerson first shot up, in and out, no good. Rebound comes off to Nice. In the corner, there's Connell. Back out front to Kaysen. And they'll set it back up. Case in top of the key. She'll stop and pop. No good. And look at Nikki Hudson get in there to try to get that loose ball. They're going to call a jump ball possession arrow single. But the back court of Lebanon is hitting the glass. Boy, that's the third jump ball we've had this game. It's kind of odd to have it. Th over three and a half Actually, minutes. This quarter, I think. Yeah, I believe you're right. Here's Connell, spin move underneath, up and under, no good. And look at Stafford get a hand on it. Kaysen knocks it around. Now it's picked up by Chapman, and she is mugged right up underneath the basket. I believe they're going to get Eli for that, just her first. Chapman steps the line for the first time tonight. Has yet to score in this game after dropping 13 on us last time we played him. Chapman's first toss is up and good, and she has been a lot less aggressive since that offensive foul for the elbow there early on. Second toss is up and good, so Monty Chapman nails a pair, and suddenly it's a five-point ball game, 20 to 15. Lebanon needs points. Here's Hudson in the middle, left wing to Jennings. Jennings way downtown to Lemerson. She had it momentarily, but lost it out of bounds. Great idea but just couldn't get the handle on it, and it'll go right back to Siegel. So a chance for Siegel to be as close as they've been in a long time, and they're running up and under by Connell is good, and it's a three-point ball game. Here's Lamerson. She's going to get mugged again out here by Sarah Donkin. Boy, that's become a battle. As Donkin and Burns, along with Hudson and Lamerson, those four have been matched up at different times. And that will send Lamerson back to the line. Just missed the front end of a one and one and points at a premium for the Blue Devil Eds, and Lamerson needs to hit a couple here. 20 to 17, single back within three with three minutes, 15 seconds to go before the half. Lamerson toss up and here we go. She'll have the bonus. She just needed that first one to practice. Absolutely. 21 to 17, Blue Devil Eds by four. Second toss in the air. Bounces around, but Eli glides in for the rebound. Her putback is good. Wow. So three-point possession for Levin and just what the doctor ordered, and the lead's back to six at 23-17. They planned that. McKenzie and uh, Iceland. A good missed free throw by Kenzie Lambert. Absolutely. <laughs> here comes Siegel in the front court. They'll get it over here to Nice. Then they'll go Kaysen right side. Lamerson out on her. Kaysen with the drive and spin move. Cut off, gets it to Connell. Ball fake, drop stick to the hole. All and right. Foul about Kenzie Lamerson underneath taking the charge. As folks, been there, done that. It takes a lot of guts to stand there and let somebody run over you. Both teams knotted up with nine turnovers apiece. More importantly now, three starters for Siegel with two fouls in the game. And Lamerson has to check out. She is not fully here, folks, i got to tell you. 
Here's Jenny up ahead to Peyton. Had Stafford momentarily. Now she'll drop baseline. She's double teamed. No place to go, and they're going to call jump ball. Probably the world's quickest jump ball. <laughs> Could you get a stopwatch on that? Was four, that four tenths of a touch? Four, four of them now in this quarter. Add another one to it. Kyle gets to Peyton. Peyton out high to Jennings. Possession arrow stayed with 11. And Stafford on the left wing. Out front to Peyton. Right side Coggins. Now they've got Jennings on the baseline. She'll penetrate, and they're going to call a flop. Oh, my goodness. He changed it. He originally called it. Defensive foul, and then upon reflection, decided to call the charge. So the 17th foul on Lebanon is a player control. Will not involve free throws. With 2.23 to, to go, Lebanon leads 23-17. Here comes Creation across the line. 2.17 to go. 23-17, Lebanon by six. Burns top of the key. No place to go. Kicks it right side to Casey. Chapman back to Casey. Now inside to Chapman. The eight-footer in and out. No good. Casey backside rebound. No good. Followed it up. Now knocked out of there. And how about Peyton? Running down the loose ball right in front of the Lebanon big. So with a minute 48 to go and a six-point lead, Lebanon has the ball. Jennings was whistled for that offensive foul. Now almost a near steal. Wait a minute. Holy cow, they're going to give it a turnover and give it back to Siegel. Lebanon fans not real happy with that call. A minute 40 to go. Kaysen works out front. Right side Chapman. And there's another one of those zig when you should have zag deals. And they've done that twice now on the exact same play. So a little bit of poetic justice, perhaps. Could, could be. Is your name Earl? Only on Tuesday. <laughs> Here comes Eli on the front court. Back across to Hudson. Hands off to Peyton. They'll set it up. 23-17. Blue Devil Eds have led throughout. Had a big lead. Now it's been cut down to six. Skip pass over to Peyton out high to Coggins. A minute 10 to go. I think Lebanon can tend to run an awful lot of clock. You'd love to go in at the half up by at least two possessions, and that's what six-point leads give you. Here's Stafford to the baseline. She's cut off. Has it knocked out of bounds? It'll stay with Lebanon. But you never know to the official signal. And yes, it does stay with Lebanon. 56.7 to go here in the first half. Lebanon up by six. Stafford right side Peyton. The 2-3 zone by Siegel. Traps on the wings. They'll get it to Eli. Face the three. Back out front to Hudson. Hudson bounces to Coggins. 43 seconds in counting. I think this is probably what Coach Johnson actually wanted to accomplish. If you don't have a great shot, don't take it. 36. 33, time winding down here in the first half. 23-17, the Blue Devilettes up by six. Coggins holds it on the right wing. Back to Stafford, 22-21. Hudson on the left wing. Over to Payton. Back to Stafford. Now they'll get their motion going. 11 seconds, Eli in the corner. Eight seconds, across to Hudson, out to Payton. They'll have to get something going. Oh, my goodness. That is definitely not what they wanted. Peyton picks up her third foul with less than five seconds to go in the first half. That is a tough, tough call. An offensive oh. foul, and now another one on Peyton. And then to make matters worse, with 1.8, that will give Siegel a chance to go to the other end and shoot free throws. That's going to be tough for Lebanon with Mackenzie Lamberson not 100% tonight. Peyton picking up two fouls in less than a second. So 23-17, Lebanon leads Casey to the line to shoot free throws. It'll be the one and one. Both teams at 19 fouls. Chapman will check out with her two fouls. 1.8 seconds to go here in the 